ladies, it's Crafty Kim 62 here and this is a little short video for the tutorial for the Naked Mini Album that is a swap on my Facebook group Simply Craft and Swap So what you need are it can be whatever you have in your stash this is um, what I actually use when I'm making a little mini um, it's the back of notebooks you can see the um, canvas strip there where the, the notepad was on the front so they come in various colours these I use A4 size so I'll keep two here ready and then um, for the neck, well, you're not, we're not going to be doing anything on the inside. So this is three sheets of A4 pearlized card. I don't know whether you can see the sheen on that, but it's pearlized card. So that would be nice for someone to decorate with whatever they need to decorate it with. Add photographs, journaling, or whatever. But the we will be able to get two pages out of one sheet of A4. I'll just put that to one side. Now I found these at the range, um, so I'm, uh, there'll be various um, papers that you have in your stash anyway. I've used this one quite a lot and that is the Vintage Romance and these from the range and they were actually only one ninety nine, and there are 24 sheets and they are these ones, the pink, and they're actually 15 centimetres by 30 centimetres, which is 6 by 6. So that's they're good. And this one is, um, this one's called Character, and this is more of a blue tone, and you can see it's more of a nautical theme as well. So this will be good for a man's little mini book. And then this one was because I just liked it the tones and this one's called Beach Life and it has um this again I've used quite a lot out of this because it goes such a long way and this one has um dog tooth, it has ginghams and it has lots of lots of different shades in there. So the book um with you being as economical as possible um the pages are actually six by six is the um it's fifteen centimeters so we're not i'm going to do this in pen normally i wouldn't do it in pen um but just to show you i like to work in inches so i'm just going to move and i'm going to do five and a half inches and five and a half inches and that will give me a overhang of the six inch papers and it'll be much easier for trimming because this is a simple mini book that I want everybody to be able to partake in and hopefully everyone in their stash will have the ingredients that we need. So all I've done is just two lines at five and a half inches and I'm now going to do five and a half inches again at various spots. I'm doing it this way so that if you don't have a paper trimmer and you are just a beginner then again this is going to be easy for you to achieve as well. So we're going to use this one and this one and this one's not going to be waste. I don't waste anything. Um, this will go into my little store and like everybody else we all have our paper stashes. So I'm just going to cut this quickly. I'm going to leave this hole because it always comes in handy for tags and as everyone who knows me I'm a great lover of tags and I have tags everywhere. So I'll just move these out of the way. So that is your front and the back of your Naked Mini album. So we'll keep this, these two sheets here close by. And again, just for 
I'm going to use pen, ruler and paper, they've got old fashioned way. So we used five and a half inches. Five and a half inches for the outer covers. So on the inside we're going to make these five inches exactly. So again I'm using ruler, pen, so you can see and just join them up again. Five inches, five inches. You can see how quick it is with a ruler and a pen and again five inches this way and just line up the dots and the dashes and again not going to waste any of this pearlized card because it will be useful for tags, punching out flowers, anything that we need. So they'll go into my stash ready. And then this is two pages. We leave these blank. So these will go inside. Line them up. Line them up. I'm quite happy with that and I'm fortunate to have um, the My Memory Keepers hole punch. I'm just going to line that up to where I want the equal spacing. Just do that by eye and then we're going to close it just with two ring binders. Sorry, my hands are not working today. Just move that one into its place. And that is your basic naked mini album. And we are going to have six sheets of the card inside, which are going to be blank. But we are to decorate the front and the back and the inside and the outside. So I'll just move this away. And the easiest way, I'm going to use glossy accents because this is a quick grab, easy to use. So I'm just going to put that around the side. All the way around. A couple of squiggles. I like to make more in the corner, so I normally do a little bit of a circle motion in the corner. And I think I'll make this one into a blue one. So I'm going to use this nice blue one here. And all I'm going to do is attach it at corner to corner. Line up the squares, give it a good old press, and again on this one, I'm just going to do corner to corner. View the centre, and again. Just laying it down corner to corner. You've got a little bit of wiggle room. Push that down ready. And that's so by the time you come to do your second one and then use your cardboard, mount board or whatever you decided to use as your guide for your scissors and then the scissors can go along and take off the excess. Now I wouldn't hold punch normally 
at the beginning like I've just done I would wait until I've got all of my sheets together but it's quite easy just to line up so just trim off anywhere where you need to and there you have your front and your back so that will go like that so the next thing is just to choose your second sheet so I, I normally do a plane to the inside that's going to coordinate and I think I'll go for the stripes to coordinate with that and again Just go into the corners, wiggle all over, lay it down. So that is going to be my back, so I think I'm going to go with the stripes facing up. So I'll just squish that down, move it along. And glossy accents is my favourite, I've said it before, and I'll keep on saying it. Just missed a bit there and there. And I want the stripes to go this way, so that means I want it to go down. And then just squish it down a bit. And again, by the time you come to do your first one, it's already grabbed. Use your cardboard again as your guide for your scissors. You can use your paper trimmer, you can use your craft knife for this. But I'm a large scissor person, so I usually do most of my crafting with scissors. So there we have the inside the outside, the two rings, and that will be the book. Now the last thing that I like to do is, this again is a We Are Memory Keepers, this is a great company, I love these. I've had these for many years, but they're still around. And then just punch in the corner a little bit detail, just to make it a little bit more fancy. And as we did with the, that's how organised I am, I've lost my two inserts, there they are, right, so again I would line everything up, hole punch, well corner punch, these are called chompers and you get them in all variety of so there they are, these go in the centre, you add your ring and that is your naked mini, quick, easy, using all of your things that you have already in your stash, you may, but in the swap we are going to decorate the front ready for your partner in your swap challenge to have a beautiful front. I'm going to leave mine blank because I want mine to have a little bit of a surprise when I get my partner. So ladies, I hope you've enjoyed this quick and easy naked mini album for Simply Craft and Swap. Many thanks. Crafty Kim now, signing out. Bye-bye.